Hi, I'm Josephine Barksdale. I'm the CTI coordinator, as well as the CTAE department chair here at the DM Thero High School, where excellence is a way of life. CTAE stands for Career Technical Agricultural Education. Here at Thero, the CTI program is specifically geared for students with disabilities who are on a transition plan. In those programs, these students are placed in various job opportunities throughout the metro Atlanta area in such places as FedEx, UPS, Service Master, and various other job opportunities. Additionally, students who are enrolled in the CTI program are afforded the opportunities for job shadowing experiences, industry tours, and college tours. In my role as CTAE department chair, we ensure that all students have the opportunity to enroll in a pathway career choice of their liking, whether it be nursing, law, video production and design, culinary arts, engineering, and entrepreneurship. We welcome you to DM Thero. Please choose to make one of these pathways your area of interest. Hi, I'm Shel Harper Jones, the culinary arts teacher here at DM Thera High School. First, I would like to rave about the fact that we are the only culinary arts program that's industry certified by the American Chef Federation and by Georgia Chef for the state. It is a three year pathway. First year is intro to culinary arts, where you get introduced to terms, the cooking methods, measurements. Second year, you'll do more hands-on in the kitchen where you'll be able to prepare more dishes, learn more about the different types of cooking methods. CA2 is the last and final year where you spend most of your time or all of your time in the kitchen preparing dishes, meals, learning how to plate, garnish, garmage, and several other things. Our career technology student organization for the culinary arts pathway is called FCCLA, which stands for Family, Career, Community Leaders of America. Students are able to be a part of this organization where they get to go on field trips, compete in several different competitions on the regional level, state level, and also national. I have several kids here now preparing for regional competition that's coming up. They're doing some prep work, working the recipes, seeing what works, doesn't work, what they'll be able to use. Last year, the students participated in the culinary arts competition where they got a bronze, which is third place. Yay, for our first time in competition. I'm very proud of them. This year, we plan on bringing home the gold, first place. Competition will be held here at Demthera High School. How you doing? My name is Elijah Gilbert. I've been in the um, culinary pathway at Demthera High School for two years now. This is my second year. I'm in the class of year one um, culinary student. Next year, I'll be year two, which will be my last year taking the pathway. Um, I've been cooking since forever. Cooking is my passion. Uh, cooking is all I want to do. I hope you guys are interested in the culinary arts pathway. Be excited about it as much as I am. I look forward to having you in my program. Hi, my name is Ms. Valentine. I am the Nursing Pathway teacher and instructor. Our courses consist of Intro to Healthcare, Essentials of Healthcare, and Patient Care Fundamentals. This is simply an entry way for students to have that experience that have basic nursing skills down, such as feeding a patient, changing a patient, uh, giving daily medications under the guidance of a LPN or RN. Uh, I think it's, this is a good pathway for anyone who wants to go into any type of healthcare field. That would be radiology, such as an x-ray tech, radiation therapist, nuclear medicine, occupational therapy, physical therapy, respiratory therapy. This is a good foundation that you can 
acquire here at Farrell in the Nursing Pathway if you want to become a healthcare professional. We also have a, an established relationship with Grady where students are picked to do internships. They are allowed to shadow the surgeons, the therapists, the nurses, and doctors uh, for about a month and a half at the beginning of the school year. And those students are referred uh, by me and that is good experience as well for hands-on. We have some upcoming opportunities for our students to shadow in elderly residential homes and nursing uh, assistant homes as well and to also visit the Atlanta Tech Colleges and those uh, institutions that offer the allied health and nursing occupations. Okay, I'm Mr. Jackson. I teach, I'm the law and justice teacher here at Thurrell High School. And we have three pathways here. We have the intro to law pathway, the essentials, and the uh, also the, uh, the uh, application of law process. Uh, here we also have uh, auxiliaries where we have mock trial, moot court, and uh, which our students participate in mock trial where we do actual trials and our competition uh, co where we compete is in Henry County and uh, we have competitions there in Henry County where we actually have the actual regional competition and then we have state competition which takes place in Lawrenceville and Gwinnett County. Mock trial we have I a mean, moot court where that takes place that takes place at Georgia State University where we have competitions where we go before a panel of judges uh, to present a brief of a case that has recently been uh, done in a superior court and then it's been appealed through the Supreme Court and we actually take these actual cases and brief them before uh, uh, appeal judges. Hello, my name is Melissa Edwards and I'm your entrepreneurship teacher at DM Farrell High School. There is no other pathway that will help you get ready for the workforce. I can help you with your college applications, your resumes, I can help you with your soft skills and if you don't know what that is, guess what? You will when you come through the door in my class. I teach Introduction of Business Technology, that's the ninth grade course. I teach Legal Environment of Business, you can take that in 10th or 11th grade. And the 12th grade course is Entrepreneurship, great course. My name is Helene Devine and I'm in the Entrepreneurship Pathway. In the Entrepreneurship Pathway, we're taught not only about the business market, but we're taught about legal skills as well. It helps me because I plan on owning my own business and we learn work readiness skills as well as skills that help us in college. The pathway provides us with job opportunities and internships and we have partners such as General Electric and TJ Maxx who come and give us sessions and we go out to them and go on trips for our programs such as FBLA and YBI. Youth Business Institute, YBI. Don't forget that, YBI. I. When you reach 12th grade, I want you to take my entrepreneurship program. That class helps you with work readiness skills. TJX Associates, they come in and they teach you 10 lessons. Who does that, man? 10 lessons. They give you a shopping spree, job shadows. Really? What other program does that? They also have mock interviews where the actual associates from the job come in and interview you for a job. And the culminating event is the graduation. Now in the past, that has been at the Georgia Aquarium. What a wonderful way to end the program. But last but not least, oh no, 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 I need to talk about FBLA, Future Business Leaders of America. That's your CTSO. 
your Career Technology Student Organization Club. What is that and what does that give you? Again, work readiness skills, leadership abilities, networking. Did I also say the Fall Motivational Rally? That is the most fun event ever. Every Georgia FBLA will get out of school, get on a bus with your FBLA t-shirt and we will head to the Perry Fair. <laughs> Who does that but FBLA? We need you to make us successful. Don't forget, Ms. Edwards, DM Farrell, Entrepreneurship Pathway. See you there. Hi, my name is Mr. Lammy, and I am the engineering and technology instructor here at Thurrell High School. And the course that we're working with here is called Fundamentals of Engineering. And what we do in this course is we endeavor to allow students to touch many vast areas of engineering. We deal with electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, uh, we make apps for phones, we deal with chemical engineering, we even study about nuclear engineering. As you can see here, some of our students are working on the VEX robotics in terms of creating the robot and learning how to program it with easy C programming in order to make that work, robot work. So it's a whole vast thing, uh, let's say, um, subject matter that we deal with. The course is basically three years, old, uh, three years in duration. Students that pass this course in the third year, they get to take an industry certification test. If they should pass that test, which most of my students do, then what's going to happen is that they will get industry certification and these students will have journeyman classification in industry, which means that they would be preferred over anybody else going into that particular industry. We are reaching out to many different industries. We work with Georgia Power. We work with um, other companies out there that are working with us, okay, to take our students and not only help them through college, but also to make them interns in their businesses and to support them while they're in college. So that is us, that's what we do, and uh, I'm just happy to be here and just loving my students and the work that they do. It's very complex and complicated work, but they're engaged, they're happy, and these are skills that really will cause these students to do well in life. So if you're interested in engineering, come down here and talk to Mr. Lammy. We got something for you. Hello, I'm Mr. Thornton with the second year and third year engineering program, engineering applications, the fourth year program, and engineering concepts, the third year program. Welcome to the engineering lab. Uh, we have a couple things set up here. We have a focus on computer graphics, animation, um, also the TSA sponsor. So in your second, I'm sorry, in your third and fourth years in engineering pathway, uh, you master specific engineering concepts as related to power systems, uh, understanding how different power systems work, functionality of things, and a number of different hand and kinesthetic activities that allow students to become involved <clears throat> with the engineering program. So amongst those things are uh, robotics. Um, we have applications with robotics here in the engineering lab. Also with um, hand tools being familiarized with how to cut, create, paste, um, and just pretty much utilize different tools that you might find in the shop. Along with that are the technical aptitudes that come along with being an engineer, being able to utilize mathematics and science in order to solve problems. Uh, we also have applications such as t-shirt press and laser engraver, which allow students to express creativity while doing engineering as well. Hi, I'm Matthew Hazel. I'm the Audio, Video, Technology, and Film Instructor at DM Thera High School. The program is a brand new program at DM Thera, so we're super excited about it. Um, this is the first year having it. However, we have done some great things already. We have a weekly news show. Good morning, Thera Panthers. Today is Friday, December 4th, 2015. I'm Trevor George. I'm Zamea Manu. And welcome to the Panthers News Show. Hey, good morning, Thera Panthers. I mean, what's this about? This is how you start your day? Yeah. Started, Dr. C. Well, as your superintendent of schools, I think that every student should like get their dab on first thing in the morning. Oh, okay. okay. Well, let's, 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 let's yeah, yeah, let's do this. Let's yeah. get a, let's All get our dab right. for the start of the day. All right. On three. Yeah. All right. One, two, three. Pipe it up. Ooh. 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 Pipe it up. Damn.
Being an audio and video technology film, we try to take field trips. We try to uh, go to schools to check out what are film schools in the local area. Also, just trying to go on set, different sets, learn different things hands on. So it's not just all book working here. You actually get a chance to take cameras, figure out how to set up tripods, learn what you want to do. Whether you're shooting commercials, short films, documentaries, or just for the news show, you guys get hands on experience. With Atlanta being a new hub for production and film, um, it's great to have a great opportunity for students to take advantage of learning how to film, learn how to edit, learn how to produce and write scripts, things of that nature, so they can be uh, ready, job ready when they leave the high school setting. Um, after three years of my program, you will be industry certified once you pass the end of pathway assessment. With this class, it'll give me one foot forward in understanding what I need to understand in the film industry, so when I get to any corporations or any production studios, I'll understand what I'm talking about and I'll understand what I'm performing. So with that, audio and video class is the best class to take at DM Thera High School, so sign up now.